Amid persistent rainfall and the subsequent release of water from Cameroon's Lagdo Dam, communities across over 26 Nigeria's 36 states were inundated by flooding between the month of August and October 2022. Within that period, official tally from the Nigeria's authorities indicated that over 600 fatalities were recorded, while more than 1.4 million citizens were displaced. Most of the affected areas in the country are agrarian communities. Millions of hectares of farmland hosting major staple crops such as rice, sorghum, millet, sugarcane, cowpea, maize and several others were destroyed by the overflowing water. This year is not an exception, although the level of destruction recorded by some farmers as a result of flooding this year is not as high as the preceding year. Nevertheless, extreme weather events such as drought and excessive rainfall has left unforgettable footprints across many agrarian communities in Nigeria. The aftermath of this nature's rich climate change, believed to be fueled by man's anthropogenic activities, is evident in the declining state of food availability, accessibility, and affordability in the country amidst inflationary pressure and extreme poverty. Climate change is explained as a long-term shift in temperature and weather patterns. Uh, it was terrible because before we are enjoying in this community, farming and fishing, we are getting our food easily. That is why you see the community enjoying before. But now as of 2012, and 2022, there is a flooding that affect, it's affect our farms and affect even the flood kills among the members of the community. If you can take a look, river is there far, far away from us. These are the farmers, farm, 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 farmland we're using. But now as a result of flooding, all our farms, you can see, all were ravaged. Take at least soya beans, two hectare, rice, rice, almost a bag, almost to four hectares. It has been drawn up completely, completely. Even one single rice I didn't pick from that farm. Many of our children was being drawn in water diet. Our cattle, everything, chicks and chicken were dead, was dead. Even the young ones by, were, were being contacted with so many diseases. Masarana, <laughs> The time that we come here, there is it's not a period of a uh, rainy season. So the time that we come here, even us, we don't know that water is flooding in this place. Because they have told us that the water that we see, it is very far. It will not enter our, where we are. The flooding, if they is coming, it will just say only on that side. So you see, the flooding is too much. That is why you see it has enter us. I masara, so bazamu ya bari wancha nguri mujia uli wadu mbamu da karifi bamu da kulida da mbamu ya haya adu mbamu ya mbamu ya mbamu ya mbamu ya wancha yenki yanzu akwe shinkafa akwe masara kubu hude ya kukwano da ya baza nyachira wancha nguri mba kwa wancha nguri neke sama mpani ni zanchi wana ruwa damo kizama kusada shi ya achima na mutani ya fea erga shikara ya fea erga ya nado kama na mutani 
garin zuwa ne mun abinci so gaskiya mu muna cikin damuwa muna ci wani hali da muka sun cika mu a ciki shekaru da damuwa yanzu da nake siya gaban kokan abun da zan ci aban da shi da gaskiya akwai damuwa sosai idan lokaci ya kai kamar haka in an yi ruwa duka gonakin mu kamar da kun gan mu a saye nan in kun duba a baya da dan nesa ma da ga yadda ruwa ya bata amfanin gona amma abun ya ba yana ba mu takaishi sosai yana ba mu wahala some uh, as some year came with his own uh, change climate change especially this year we you know experience rain uh, so early so we start planting our crops the crops now some now cannot cannot yield anything so still when you we put fertilizer now it will not grow again because of climate change especially rice and uh, some uh, cassava or granite when you plant them if you do not get rain at the early age it will not uh, yield anything again so rainy season you do, you don't get anything and dry season you want to sustain what you eat fertilizer you don't have it uh crops to to plant at that time you may not plant the real one the one that will give you something because you don't know the type of crops you are buying to to farm i plant i plant uh, rice in the river mada and cassava and uh, granite and this is how this uh, river mada destroy it now we don't have anything again apart from this because we base on this rain, uh, dry season's work so if it is rainy season we don't base in it too much like dry season so we work in river mada that is how this uh, our river destroy our fruit as a result of changing in the weather uh, we will confront a lot of problems especially uh, the disease and the pest we be, for the past previous years there was nothing like that before our four fourth farmer fathers were farming there was nothing like pest uh, disease affecting the crops but for these previous years when we engage ourselves in farming then we discover uh, that a lot of disease and pest affecting our crops and uh, when we go to the market and buy this this uh, pesticide insecticide apply in the farm but still yet we still confronted that problems is as if the pests are resistant to the the herbicide or insecticide on our way here we saw a lot of farmlands that have been destroyed by water what happened yeah that is natural phenomenon and to god be the glory we don't even relent the water is important to us it helps us to it moisture our crops but the the issue is that when the rain over 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 what do you call it over drop the river the river overflow and when the river overflow it reaches our crops so it, the water rise to that level it rise it so much this, this is uh, all these trees this is above 10 feet yes even where when that's a hot day. Yes, the yeah. water gets to that yeah. level. Yeah. 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 So the water place. overflows. We so much our... Last year it was worse, last year, 2022. The water will overflow and so much our crops. The weather in this year, there is no rain. And the things that we plant in our farm, that they, used, they don't used to grow well. And the corn that we used to farm this year, there is no rain and the cockroach are disturbing it because there is no fertilizer for us to put. Orukomini aba jirebi eh eh ribai gbogbo ntan ba wa so ki se pe tori ite nikan bi ko se pe tori ti awara wa eh ribai ewo ewo mi bo ti se ri ewo ile ti ako ta fe fi dinna ma o mi ko se se o mi akoja o mi ala na o ma koja 
e ri bayi omi lo gba le lo gba ona lo gba gbogbo eyi e ri kolon ma sanu wa ni o ejo to ri olohun atun ro gbogbo eyin eyan wa te n kole e ma je ka kole di oju omi eh e ma je ka kole di oju omi olohun a sanu wa e wele to sele yi nisi eh kolon ma sanu wa ni o ko bara le o ko baro oko o ko bero ona gbogbo eni keni ti omi ba de ba bayi olohun ma je agbakode kolon ma je ka sagbako tori na e je ka fele yi kogbon o omi re o alagba lubu eh eh e ri bayi sen to gberu eleyi na ngbele aye sen to gberu eleyi na ngbele aye e je ka sora wa a fowo fa wa o n lo po nbe o a ma fowo ara wa fa wahala o bi le ba se ko ka ko bi o ba se ko ka party e wo le ri bayi ah ele da mi o lo ma je yin o sagbako In the face of these challenges, the Human and Environmental Development Agenda in partnership with Oxfam and the Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance under the African Activist Climate Justice Alliance traveled across major climate frontline communities in Nigeria to document the plight of affected individuals, raising climate change awareness among vulnerable groups and identify ongoing effort by the government to support affected community members and to mitigate future flood occurrences in the country. This is core community in Girei local government area of Adamawa State. It's also an agrarian community here. They do a lot of rice and maize farming. Uh, they also plant um, beans and of course a whole host of um, things they do here. Just further down the road behind us is the river Benue. And then when the water rises, it's going to cover to some extent some of these farms that you are seeing. Now the interesting thing is that just um, two, three months ago, communities around here were also having problems with rainfall because then it was really dry, they were not getting enough rain. But the, 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 the challenge I'm throwing at us is that this can be described more or less as coastal communities because the river Benue runs along them and still when it's dry season uh, farms that are further into the dry land are not able to do dry season farming this is a challenge the water is there but the infrastructure to get the water to the farms is not there that's where the problem is and unfortunately when people also do the rainy season farming uh, when there's too much water, like we have seen in many communities, we have been to Fufure, we have been to uh, uh, we have been to Dancing House in Fufure, we have been to uh, Yola South, we have been to Numan. Now we are on our way to some community in Gire. And what you keep seeing is that the flood is taking over the farmlands. Especially, it comes at about when the people are getting ready for harvest. You can see, look, we've seen thousands of hectares of rice farmlands. But a lot of them are probably going to be overrun by the flood. So when there is rain, there is problem. When there is no rain, there is problem. Yet, 
It's possible with proper planning, with proper funding for agriculture, with proper response to climate change, to prevent the losses that happen to both lives of humans, animals, and you know, um, crops. It's possible to build infrastructure that will help the farmers to farm throughout the years. Um, the rice cultivation takes about three months. Uh, so it's possible for our farmers to actually have three harvests in a year and we will not have all of the problems. And I'm just using rice as an example. There are so many other things that, you know, uh, we could. And if you take it that Nigeria is even a country where we do not have the maximal per hectare yield. We have no business with food shortage. We have no business with importing many of the food items that we import into this country. We have no business with hunger. Hunger is man-made. We can deal with hunger. Nigeria has the resources. We have the vast land. We have able-bodied men and women. We have entrepreneurial spirits. We have people who want to work. But what do you say about somebody who goes into an investment, uh, whether as a peasant, a subsistence farmer, or small-scale commercial farmers, or even large-scale? And when it's time for harvest, they lose it all to flood. And many of these communities, the people do not have access to insurance. And it's not about insurance. It's about making the food available. It's about making the food accessible. It's about making the food affordable. This will not achieve if the people keep suffering from uh, extreme weather events whose impact can be minimized with adequate information to the farmers, giving them the appropriate window for planting, the crop weather calendar, we can minimize the impact. Helping people with relocation centers, we can minimize the impact on their lives and livelihoods. Helping people with um, re water drought resistant um, uh, seeds, water resist, flood resistant seed, or quick germinating seeds can help to minimize the loss that we suffer as a nation. It was also discovered that despite much effort by the National Emergency Management Agency to provide succor to affected communities, they could not reach everyone affected. In most cases, the government of states affected did not do much to support their citizens. The Lando Dam, whenever they release the water, it will affect Nigerian uh, places. And uh, it's my belief that had it been that another dam like Lando might have built here around this area, maybe it will have solved the problem. But notwithstanding, the government can still think of now <coughs> constructing another dam around this area so that to see how to control the water. And uh, by the time you have the dam, <coughs> it will enable the government to assist people, the farmers in particular, by using this dam, using the water for either dry seeding farming for whatever it can be useful. It will help certainly. So when I think at uh, this point, I want to call upon the government to think on how to help us by building another dam around this our area so that it can alleviate the problem of the uh, flood. We are appealing to the government to come to our aid in this aspect. In fact, we don't know uh, whether the government can control, uh, help us, tell us the way to control this uh, flooding. Mm. or assist us because of most of our lost if they can as, at least uh, assist ko baza she ba asamu ana samu dede amma ba ya kai yanda muke ji makoptar mu ake ba su ba daga mutun daya daya daga gwamnati daga NGOs duk suna tallafa amma ba abin da mutun zai shi yayi mako daya da shi ba kuka na gona da su tallafa mana ko ta gefe kogin mu a dan kara zurfin kogin idan abu na zamu ko da cikin ruwa ya zo mu dan samu abin da amu dan samu we are in very critical condition we have we want government please to help us to know how to they take care of this water so that it cannot flood to our place again. So we are, we are, we are, we, we, our farms and our houses are all in water. Please, government, please help us.